Today I'm going to show you how to easily create a landing page for your affiliate offer. And what's up guys, I'm James and welcome to Money Hustle, the best place to be if you're looking for great new ways to hustle and make money online. And if you haven't done it yet, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on other great videos just like this one. When it comes to affiliate marketing, a proper landing page is really important. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily create a landing page. I'm also going to go over a few important things that you should be doing whenever you create a landing page. So make sure you stick around and watch this video to the end so you don't miss out on anything. And the first thing you need to do is pick out an affiliate offer. Uh, for this video, we're going to be working with this offer here on Max Bounty. This is uh, Get Insta Hard. Um, it's a mail enhancement offer. Um, you can pick any network you want or any affiliate offer you want from any network that you worked with. I just picked this one because I figured it'd be one that'd be interesting to do a landing page for. But again, you just go to whatever affiliate network you're working with and find an offer that you're happy with. And once you picked out the offer that you like and one that you want to create a landing page for, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to their actual landing page, their sales page. And what you're going to be looking for is keywords and phrases and sales points that they mention or focus on. Um, and these are the type of things that we're going to be using on our landing page. So what you do is you go to their landing page and you just take a look and you see, okay, what are the main points? What are they trying to sell? What are they claiming? Uh, you know, now available without a prescription, mail enhancement. These are all things you want to take a look at for this offer. You want to see what are, how they are promoting it and how they are convincing people that this is the right product for them. Because we also want to touch on those same topics and subjects and keywords as well with our landing page. Uh, and also what you want to do is when you go to their website, you want to take a look and see if there's any resources or information you can pull from it. So I'm not just saying like headlines and text and keywords and stuff like that. You want to scroll down, you want to take a look and you want to see what they add and have. So it's like here we've got the ingredients list, good. Keep scrolling down, I'm looking, I'm seeing they got some testimonials, that's fine. And down at the bottom here, and some of them do have it, is FAQs. FAQs are really great. They're packed with a ton of information. Let's take a look what they have here. So yeah, again, they have a whole bunch of information that we can use here and use as a base for our sales text and stuff that we can uh, reference and talk about. That's really good. So yeah, again, so guys, find the offer that you like, go to their landing page, or if they have multiple landing pages, check out all the landing pages and take a look and see what you can get, what kind of information and keywords you can get. Now, if you're finding that they don't have a lot of resources or you can't find much that you can work with on the landing page, you're gonna have to head over to Google and do a search and see what you can find in the results. So do a search for reviews, like so get Insta hard reviews, and you're gonna look for sites like this that are doing reviews and see what kind of text they use as well and where they might have got it from and stuff like that. Okay? Now the goal of our landing page is to pre-sell someone and warm them up to the offer. And honestly, I'll find I'll tell you the best way that I found that works the best is to sort of uh, think about a bunch of common questions that somebody might have about the product and then list them out and write short and concise answers to them. Kind of think about like kind of like an FAQ, uh, an FAQ but with like added sales text uh, added to the answers. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to list out five to eight common questions that somebody might have about this product. Try and put yourself in the mindset of somebody who would be interested in this product, someone who's about to buy it or maybe might be interested in buying it. Think about what kind of barriers would prevent them from actually following through and buying or clicking on your link. And you're going to do is you're going to list these out. Now, don't worry about answering these questions. This point right now, what you want to do is you just want to list out these questions themselves, kind of like a brainstorm session and get a bunch of them on a piece of paper or in a notepad or something. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pick out the five to eight best ones. So for example, for this offer, uh, these are the ones I picked. I'll explain why afterwards. Uh, I picked why is Inst what is Instahard? Will Instahard work for me? Do I need a doctor's prescription? Will Instahard help me get and maintain an erection? How does Instahard work? Is Instahard safe? Now, I picked these for a few reasons, but mainly uh, because I felt that pre-answering these before I send somebody to the actual sales page would remove a lot of doubt and friction, which would lead to more sales. Uh, there are also questions that I can answer from the sales text on their actual sales page and from the frequently asked questions. So I already know that I have the resources to answer them correctly uh, without making something up. Uh, that brings me to my next point. Uh, if you cannot find a like an answer to a question that you've asked, don't just make up an answer. Um, what I would suggest you do is either try to contact the affiliate manager for the offer or try to contact the company directly and ask them and wait for a response. Don't just make up something that's a flat out lie or 
invent something or try to guess at what the answer might be. You want to make sure whatever text you put in here is factual and correct. You're not lying to them about it. You want to make sure you add text that is valid and correct. So don't just make up a lie. You need to make sure you have information from the actual product page or from the company itself to answer the question. Okay, anyways, uh, once you have your questions all list listed out, like your five to eight questions, uh, you're going to want to write uh, answers to them. Now, these answers don't have to be anything too long or too crazy, but it should be somewhere around one to three paragraphs uh, per question. Uh, something that answers a question properly uh, and convinces them that the product is right for them. Again, use the resources or text found on the sales page to help make this, an uh, make this a bit easier. And guys, don't just copy the text word for word. So if they have a frequently asked question and they go, what is Instahard? And they give you this answer. Don't just copy this out word for word. Uh, it's better just to rewrite it in your own words and add a little bit more of your own spin and, and, and style to it. Okay. Um, this should only take you around 15 minutes to write all these answers. It's really not a lot of work. Uh, again, you've got all the text and everything you need on the actual web page. Uh, their landing pages and sales pages and frequently asked questions. So it shouldn't really take that long. It should take you around 15 minutes to answer it. You don't need to spend a lot of time on this. And when you are answering it, again, put yourself in the mindset of somebody that is reading this page and why they're asking that question and what answer would help them convince them that this is the right product for them. Your whole job on this landing page is to warm them up and sell them on the product. Okay, once you've got that all sorted and you entered all that text and stuff like that, the next thing you want to work on is the top part. Now, if you want, you can just put a basic image of the product here if you want with like one headline, that's up to you. Uh, I prefer to list out a few points of interest about the product and give a quick link. And there's a reason why I like to do this. This link right here, it allows people who are already determined to buy a quick way to do so. Less chance of them, you know, changing their mind as they start reading text. They can click on it and quickly get to the order page and make a purchase and then you earn a commission. Uh, this text is also the first text that people are going to see when they land on the page. So a good headline and a call to action are really important here. It kind of sets them up for the rest of the landing page and gets them in the right mindset. Uh, but again, how you do this is up to you. Again, I like to list some of these points of interest. Uh, you'll have to do some A-B testing on it to just determine what works best for your offer or for your sales text. Um, I also like to add a little bit of sense of urgency here. So a lot of times on the top here, I'll put, you know, a reason why there's a limited supply and why they should order soon. Because again, some people might say, oh, well, okay, yeah, I'm going to click, I'm going to order. And again, I like to reiterate that here underneath the button, a little bit of text will suddenly like, hurry up while supplies last. Um, also, this is a good point. This is a good uh, spot to put any kind of proof or anything like that. So if you have a uh, product or something that has like, you know, uh, testimonials or as seen on here or, you know, in these magazines, um, this is a good, a really good place to put that because uh, a lot of people will see that right away and it's going to give a lot of validity to whatever you write below it. It's already setting them up and getting their mindset ready and they're already trusting the text more because again, when you're doing a landing page, it's about selling them on it, which means also gaining their trust and making them uh, trust in what you're writing and make trusting you enough that they're gonna be like, okay, I wanna buy this. It's very important. And also, if you are collecting email leads, uh, this is where you wanna put your email collection right here on the top above the fold here. Uh, the first place that they see when they come to the landing page. Uh, we're not collecting emails, so instead of that, we just have this nice click to order here. Okay, uh, after you've done that, the last step to do is the, the bottom of the page. So let's just scroll down here and take a look. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. A lot of people, what they like to do is put testimonials and stuff like that. That's fine. If you have a source of testimonials or something like this, uh, you can add that at the bottom here. Uh, it's a good sort of way of building a little bit more trust just before you try and sell them again and get them to click on your link. Uh, but what's really important is you want a strong call to action headline. So after you've gone through all your sales text and convincing them why they should, why this is such a great product, you want a strong call to action that directs them to do something you want them to do. And this is for them to click on this link. And another good thing to add here, which I like doing is I like to add three bullet points here and I like to list out the main product feature or main selling point of that product or offer a problem that that uh, a product feature solves. So the main prob problem that it solves. And then I like to add another product feature underneath it, like another sales point. And then I like to direct them to the click to order a nice bold call to action, easy to click on button with simple text, like click here to order. Uh, let me quickly just show you where to get that link. Uh, if you're on max bounty, you're going to go to the offer. You're going to click on build tracking link. 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna select, select the type of traffic you'll be sending. Uh, we'll just send uh, contextual, that's fine. And you wanna select a creative, I want a raw link. And then I need to select the landing page. So since we wanna send it to this specific landing page, uh, we select the landing page. And then our link is created right here. That's our tracking link. This is the link that you'll use to send traffic. So you're gonna copy that. And that's where you want all the people, this is where you wanna direct traffic. So whenever they click on the button, we want it to go to this link. And then you would just go to your landing page and you would just link up this link, this button here, to go to that link. The one that we got here from Max Bounty, this one right here. And the same with this one here. And also, if you wanted to, you could put some banners uh, in between these answers, that's up to you, or some images. And then you could just link those images uh, and banners using the same, uh, same link that you got here. So that's how you would basically link up the actual landing page to the affiliate offer. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's everything you need to do to create a landing page for an affiliate offer. Um, again, you can get more complicated and you can make them a lot longer. That's fine. It's up to you. Uh, your best bet is to do some A-B testing and see which works out the best. Uh, what I like to do is I like to create a basic landing page like this and then I like to add sections as I go. So what I'll do is I'll start with something basic like this. Then I'll add another section below here and I'll keep going on and on and on and on and adding more sales text and more sales text. Uh, that way it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to do and it's more manageable. It doesn't feel like such a daunting task to create a really long sales page. Oh, and uh, one more thing guys, one thing you do need to add, uh, a lot of people forget, is you need your privacy, disclaimer, terms, contact. Uh, a lot of advertising networks that you work with will ask you to have this on the page. So you need to make, you need to create links and pages for those. Uh, I'm not going to go into that now, but just make sure you have that. Uh, now, when it comes to actually creating the actual landing page itself, I've told you the steps involved and what you need to do and, and everything. Uh, when it comes to actually creating it, uh, I like to use WordPress and I like to use Divi as my theme builder. Uh, but you can use Elementor or whatever one you're comfortable with. It's up to you. I like Divi. I find it really works really, really well. And you just got to create the sections and add the text and everything like that. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about that in this video because that would make this video way too long. Um, I've shown you all the steps you need and everything you need to succeed. All you have to do now is just go and apply that uh, and create a web page. So anyways, guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Uh, get out there, pick an affiliate offer from any network, make a great kick-ass landing page, and make some money. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like this video, make sure you subscribe and thumbs it up. Until next time, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you then.